Tech chair has just been cleared for new use. Hi, uh, health anchor Liz Bonus joins us now to share just who it might benefit. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon once again. You may recall a few months ago we shared with you a new form of restroom relief, you might say. It's this chair, it's called the BTLM Sella, and it works to lift the pelvic floor by forcing what sort of feels like intense Kegel exercises. It's already been FDA cleared for the treatment of several things, including women's urinary incontinence. And we shared the story of a woman named Julie, who you see here, who said just after a few treatments, she was getting up a lot less often to go to the bathroom. Now, however, this new chair, this new year, approved for some new uses. It just received FDA clearance for male urinary incontinence, and my sense is that there will probably be a sexual dysfunction indication because wherever there's muscle, there's blood flow, and uh, for erectile dysfunction and those sorts of things, I imagine that MCELA, a non-surgical treatment where you can keep your clothes on, will be used for that as well. So what's really interesting about this is more and more people are using this as they're studying it. So they also found out there's some side effects we probably didn't have before. You need about six treatments or so and people started complaining of like muscle spasms. Because think about oh. it, yeah, it yeah, feels yeah. like you're doing, I, I mean I sat on it, it feels like you're doing like thousands and thousands of sit-ups. Like, oh, and it, wow. it is really intense. Um, what's more though is they're finding that it simulates blood flow to the area. And of course, uh, without anyone saying it, they're thinking this might help with sexual function problems as well. Mm -hmm. And that's going to probably be the next thing that they're looking at with new research. The reason it's exciting, I know it seems kind of unusual, is it's non-surgical. Mm -hmm. It's not inexpensive. Six treatments are a couple thousand dollars. But if you had that compared to like a surgery for some of these things, yeah. you know, with pelvic floor surgeries, it's fairly intense. You might want to try something else. Medical insurance plans not paying for it yet, but it doesn't mm -hmm. mean as we see more research, it might not get better. Right. Dr. Mendelson is going to come in on our What's Happening with Health show because this is all new approved stuff. So we'll have more for you on Sunday morning, 6 a.m. I know you don't get up early, so it's not your new year. <laughs> I, but I know there are other <laughs> ways to get it. Yeah. 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 So it'll be online and whatnot when we're done. Okay.